Hello, hello everyone, welcome to Q Design. I'm Janine and in today's tutorial this is the whole uh, glittery, um, kitschy bunch of effects. Anyway, you learn how to create um, animation in the background, how to create uh, outlines, um, add LUT to it, add uh, Kira Kira to it, add um, of course retouching to it, make an overlay look like an old poster and yeah let's start hey let's start I'm, I'm so excited you have no idea i really love i tried this tutorial before and i really love the settings so um before we start i just want to show you where i found the footage um but also i want to, this is a little uh, disclaimer uh it's maybe not licensed uh, it's really just um for the tutorial and make sure that you have the license um, of your uh, footage um or your uh, create your own footage but for the tutorial i recommend the this one as just for search for the background for y2k wallpaper and there you find a lot of footage in the right size so in 9 to 16 pretty nice and it's very flashy and colorful and perfect and i search for black folded paper texture and if you search for this one you also find some other keywords that could help you to find the perfect texture i found uh, i think a backdrop or a, a overlay in the right fit but it's not important so now we start with the settings and we need for the first setting the rectangle and this is our background rectangle so I'll call this one background whoops bg voila and maybe animation so to make sure you know what's going on up here so and the new material is also bg animation and we make sure it's flat and we leave it like that okay just and another rectangle, this rectangle down here is for our segmentation on this, it's for our person segmentation. Um, but I call this one just seg. And also the settings, perfect. And just command D and make this one a uh, line. I want to show you how to add the line to it so it's not necessary uh, i saw a lot of filters in this kind of style without a line but just to to give you more ideas and customize your design and um, add a new material to the segmentation call this not one sec matte because we, uh, when we duplicate it later, we just need one um, material and the line, um, new line, mat. Perfect so far, make sure it's flat also. And then go to your camera. We need for the camera our texture extraction and we need uh, two of the segmentations, one person and the second person. The first one, just call this one seg mat and this one line mat. Then go to your segmentation and add the camera texture. So now you see yourself again and we want to make sure we, uh, we are cut it out. So go to your alpha and activate the segmentation mat so this is the texture voila and um, just make some adjustments in this segmentation double click or go down here and we want to soften the edges so it's like a really like a cutout and the mask size you can play with that as well the second one is our line material uh, we don't need uh, to add the texture to it we just want to create a color so we see it because our deck background is uh, still just flat. And now also add an alpha to it and in this case line material. So this is a line material. Go to double click on that as well. Rough the edges and make it maybe a little bit better or bigger. 
And uh, again, I go back to our color and I would just want to create this uh, like a white cutout. So the next step is before we start with the duplication and the, um, the LUT, we want to create the animation for our background. So we see the first result. Go to the B BG animation to your material and go to your texture and you can add a new animation texture to it. Then go to, we call this one BG anim animation, right? And then go to texture, new texture. This is the um, poster overlay I use later. And these are the whole bunch of um, backgrounds I found or wallpaper I found in uh, Google. Just select them, them all, add this to your background animation and this flashy creation is perfect I think because it really reminds me of the early 90 techno music videos. It's pretty nice but of course we don't see uh, so much from our background so maybe just frame rate five. Randomize it if you want to to make it a little bit more interesting and make sure uh, the loop is on because uh, if not it stops over a period of time. Now I want to add the LUT to our segmentation. Go before we start I just want to make sure that uh, the, that I see the patch editor so view and show patch editor so down here and then I go to my library and I want to add this nude T or this um, LUT right here uh, it's, I think, a big contrast to the backdrop, so I really love that. Um, but it's maybe not the fit or for the trend, but I really don't care. Um, you see now the color lot down below. Add this one to your patch editor and go to your tex camera texture and add the camera texture to the texture right here and then go to your segmentation material and now I just want to make sure that I create an output and add the output uh, link it with our color lot texture. Now it's um, it's the new T um, LUT if you want to know how to create your own LUT just watch this tutorial up here and um, there's I explain um, how to create a LUT and so on and so on a little bit more detailed. Because what we next want to um, create is retouch for our whole scene. And for the retouch we have to make sure that we add of course a face mesh retouching. Add a new material to it. Call this one retouching. And go to retouching, but you don't see the retouching right now. We need another um, face mesh. With this one up here. Lot or face lot. So we need to add the settings like in our segmentation to this lot. So new or not exactly like that flat and face that make sure eyes mouth cutout is disabled and this is maybe a little bit too far fast for you again watch the tutorial I recommended at uh, the color light shader make sure it's like the grid size is the same Add the color LUT to it and now I need to make sure I have the texture extraction from my face. Add the face texture extraction, oh god, uh, down here, boop, um, I'll fix that later and add this down here, perfect. Now I see the retouching, no retouching. Yeah, here. 
Perfect. And the next step, see this line, alpha and new texture. And you find this texture, of course, I downloaded it in my bi uh, library. Um, this is uh, the Spark AI assets. You find the link down below to this assets. And this is perfect. Wow. Perfect so far. And now uh, we need the overlay. So we need for our overlay a new canvas because we need, we need to make sure that the canvas from our, I call this one canvas overlay. Uh, we need to make sure that it's down below in our scene. So it's in front of uh, everything else. So, and go to rectangle, add the rectangle, call this one poster, er, and add of course the full width and height to it material, create a new material and flat of course and add a new texture to it. Uh, this is our the texture I you seen before. Boop. Perfect so far. And add the screen. And now you see the lines and the roughness but I wanna make sure that my face is um, doesn't stick out. So go to the material fi face LUT to the material and add the user depth test. So it's like I'm in the poster. I add the render option blend mode to screen. You can play with it a little bit. For example, if you want to make sure that the lines are uh, darker, replace doesn't work. It's really subtract. Subtract is also fine. You can work with subtract. So you have uh, black lines, for example. And the next section is to duplicate the line in the uh, segmentation. Go to copy, command C and command D. And again, and arrange them. And then select the first one and or drag and drop and that's it so this is the whole function now i just want to show you how to implement also the kira kira but you can stop right here so this is a perfect um, uh, result, but if you want to make it a little bit more kitschy, then go to your library and stay here in home and go at the search in the search engine Kira and you see the simple Kira down here. Add the simple Kira to your patches and drag and drop first one up here. And now we need from our segmentation the right position. I duplicate this one, call this one Kira 0 in this case, and add a new material to it. New material to it. So this is our, we did, missed to add this, call this one poster. Sorry, I missed that. This is our Kira and add flat. Perfect so far. And we need the device, um, drag and drop it. Um, just link the size. And then we need also with a, a, with a LUT in it. We don't need the LUT maybe. We can add the LUT to it. We can link the camera texture directly to the camera texture or you can use the LUT also. So it, that is pretty uh, cool. So you add to your Kira Kira particles, uh, the same settings you um, add to um, other layer. Th that is pretty nice. And then go to um, the Kira material and add this one here and nothing happens. And that, that is, uh, we need a uh, material. Um, but I think I googled a sparkle or um, 
Sparkle PNG, so I need a transparency. This is uh, the, the hole here, you see the name, maybe you'll find it. It's pretty kitschy. Go to um, your Sparkle and now it's working. Sometimes, okay, wait. You see it's the blit. Now it's working. Now you see uh, the glitter. And if you want to learn more about Kira Kira, just watch this tutorial. Um, there you, I show you how to add more layers to it. But I uh, just want to need this uh, glitter also for my face. And just add this one up here and call this Kira Kira. And Kira. I think I duplicate this Kira as well. It was not. Um, Nope. So, so Kira Kira, the same particle, and we need for this one a new material. New material, call this material. Uh, of course, it's flat and it's uh, face Kira. And add this to your patch and can play it with it a little bit maybe a little bit more and or less <laughs> and what i forgot is to make sure that the kira kira is also user depth is off and that's it so far you can add of course the kira to the other layers as well just duplicate like make the same procedure like uh, with, with a first one, for example, I just show it and that's just in case, call this one Kira one, add the Kira texture to it so it's glittery too and the same with this one. But it's I think it's a little bit too much, really love the effect on in the first play setting but or the first layer. <laughs> Hira. Um, but it's what you can do a lot with some s nice um, patches and again that's it thank you very much for watching i really appreciate your time if you like this tutorial please leave a thumbs up share it with your friends who wants to know this and say, show me your results you can maybe um, add the filter name to uh, in the comment section and if you haven't subscribed yet and yeah see you next time bye bye